What does it mean that the stay is no longer available? We still have two days. Come on, fucking game. No! Up, up, up! Ah, come on. This has never happened to me. I will definitely leave a negative review. Tell him. He was our manager. We'll leave tomorrow morning. What? Why should we leave this paradise? They postponed the opening for four weeks and are no longer interested in our review? Ah, fuck it. We have 30 other hotels waiting for us. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Luxurious hotel by the sea in a tourist resort. Just a stone's throw away from the center. I'm tired of all these luxurious and crowded hotels. Isn't there something more isolated? I want some quiet time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they sent us a request a couple weeks ago. It's located on a small island connected by a strip of land. It doesn't look particularly comfortable. It's okay. Let's go there. Okay, then. I'll give the confirmation to our manager. Tell him we're available tomorrow, too. Check the navigator, please. Hmm. I have low signal. We should be close. Only a couple of miles to go, and then we should see the parking lot. Finally, an isolated and quiet hotel. We should also have the wellness center all to ourselves. Really? Did you run over an animal? Uh, let me go check. There's nothing here. Maybe it ran away. Maybe we killed him? Uh, it'd still be on the road. Uh, don't worry, nothing happened. Honestly, I expected it to be a little more welcoming. Oh, let's go and see. Push. Seems locked. Got it. What a dreary place. It's a little scary. Hello? Anyone here? Good evening. I was waiting for you. Come in. Hi, can you call the porter for our luggage? There's no porter here anymore. It's just my husband and me. We have no staff. I'll take your baggage. Oh, thank you. Can you tell us about our room? Sure. Check first from the window that the car is parked in the guest space. Okay. Man, I can't see shit from here. You didn't bring any weapons with you, did you? Weapons? From what? Very good. Oh, what are you doing? 
Don't resist. It's worse. I can't breathe. Oh. Are you crazy? What do you want? No. I'll treat you like the whore you are. You'll die here. Uh, uh, no! Help! What? Oh, fuck! Look who woke up. I guess you were looking for Judy. She's hidden somewhere in the hotel. If you want to see her again, we have to play a little first. What do you think? Oh, you're all fucked up! I'm calling the police! How do you think you can call them? Phones have no signal and we are completely alone here. Back to us. On the chair in front of you, you will find some useful items. A gun, a knife, and a torch. As I said, I want to play with you. Imagine you're on a treasure hunt, where if you make a mistake, you die. Yeah, well what if I come find you and just shoot your ass? Don't worry, I'll be looking for you. Have fun. Where the fuck did we go? I gotta find Judy and escape. here. What the? Hey, are you okay? You need some help? Oh. Seems to be dead. Very good, Alex. You already met the other hotel guests. What the fuck was that? I think that was Mr. Smith. He was our guest a few weeks ago, but he didn't like his stay very much. Keep going. You still have to visit the hotel. See you later.
need your help. Someone kidnapped my girlfriend. We're locked up in a hotel. If he's in a hotel, then he's having a good time, right? What? <laughs> Asshole. Did you think phones could actually work? If you want, you can leave a message on the answering machine and save your progress. But remember, this is a payphone. Without tokens, you won't be able to call.
Fuck! Oh, oh. He's already dead? Who are you? A, a porter? No, I want to introduce guest 237 to him first.
Access granted.
What the hell is this place? Got you. Awake. Huh? Awake. Awake. Stop it. Go prepare the television. Make sure it works this time. What the? And how are we doing today? Who the fuck are you? I'm Dr. Eric Schmidt, project manager of Exidium. I guess you're looking for your sweetheart, eh? Let me go! Where did you hide her? Calm down. We're all on the same side. I just have to prepare you for what you're gonna have to face. What do I still have to face? You gotta stop all this madness. I just want to find Judy and get out of here. It won't be easy to leave this place. Those two bastards are a little crazy. Now I'll explain what the fuck happened. Be careful of the frequency. No, don't touch that. No, put it back. Immediately. Be careful. Okay, maybe I'll just have to explain everything verbally. Oh, it works. So, my brother and I were part of a government studies group. Our job? To make the perfect soldier. Bio robots, all moving straight. Knock it off. So, here the incubator closes and releases a series of radiation into the subject. These modify the cellular structure of the subject, and the transformation phase begins. And here, the subject has rejected part of the transformation process, and his brain started shutting down, leaving him with only primal instincts hunger. Of course, we just kill it with gas. This was subject number 37. After two years of experimenting, we were unable to carry out the government project, and two new contacts were sent to manage the two process. Assholes. The central government didn't send us enough patients to submit to the incubator, and they began to oblige the workers first. Then the military. We called the colonel to warn him to stop everything, but they found us out. And here they decided to undergo the incubator themselves. Right here. That bitch changed the radiation parameters and turned into a bloodthirsty beast. Its cellular structure had given it unimaginable strength. They killed the recovery team sent to stop it. The military, the colonel, all dead. Everyone who knew what was happening on this island was dead. He left us alive only because killing us would have been too light a punishment. And he regulated us to this wing of the facility. Uh, okay, but why me and Judy? Well, the masters always need new patients. And they had an entire hotel at their disposal. All the assholes you've killed so far were hotel guests. But why are they doing all this? They're sadists. They're testing their creation. The weakest just get their brains fried. But the strongest get put to the test. But you're different. You're still alive after all this. Anyway, you got a chance to tell the world what's happening here, and to contact the army. We can help you escape. I'm not leaving without Judy. Okay, then we're gonna go free Judy. You've got to open the main gate. There should be a control room in the old hotel wing. From there, you can unlock the gate and escape. Or you can escape from the sewer. But it's half a mile, and I don't recommend it. How do I get to the panel room? Hmm. It seems to me that the key is in the old laboratory on the sewer floor. Anyway, we'll give you a hand. Oh, and one last thing. There's this liquid extracted from the incubator. If things go wrong, take a shot of this stuff. It'll give you supernatural strength. Of course, within minutes your brain will degenerate. And you'll become a monster too. What is this incubator? 
It's a secret military project carried out in the early 1950s. It used to store and release radiation. And to tell you the truth, there were two incubators. The one you saw was the main one, but the government planned a second one. In case the first one stopped working. I think it's still in the corridor leading to the exhaust tunnel. For now, I don't remember. Anyway, enough talk. You've got a job to do. You have to stop all this madness.
Attention. The emergency discharge will activate in one minute. Immediately evacuate tank number two. I repeat. Immediately evacuate tank number two. Attention. The emergency discharge will activate in one minute. Immediately evacuate tank number two. I repeat. Immediately evacuate tank number two.
Come on, fucking computer. What? I it's me! Alex? Is that you? It was terrible. They made me do horrible things. Oh shit! Door unloading completed. Let's go. We're almost there! Oh. Don't stop! Get in the truck! No! Alex, Alex, get up! It's coming! Please! Die, motherfucker! Struggle is useless. You will die like everyone before you. Judy is trying to escape. And you are tied up here with us. You know, I've never had to play with two people at the same time before. I'm gonna kill you! You are both very tenacious, aren't you? <coughs> he was too. Isn't he beautiful? He still seems human. He has always been my favorite. But maybe now you could become my favorite. I'll leave you to him. I'm going to take care of your whore. You're alive. Let's get your ass out of here. What the fuck happened? My brother found Judy. They're at the end of the exhaust tunnel. Oh, fuck. Shit! Shit! Fuck! Get to the exhaust tunnel. I'll keep him busy.
We are at the end, Alex. I didn't think you could survive that long. Now I can show you my true power. Don't worry, it will be slow and painful. Judy is escaping. You lost. Judy won't be able to escape, and your fate won't be that different. No one has ever escaped, and no one will ever escape. My evolution is about to begin. Wait for me there. It won't take long. I could also save your life. You could become one of my slaves. You may be a new protagonist. And you'd spend your whole life killing people? Yes. Or you can die now. So, what do you choose? Life or death? I've already made my choice. Die! So much for your future, bitch. Take the door on your right. We'll meet you down the hall. Okay. Come on, Alex. You don't have much time. The tunnel's half a mile long. Don't stop for anything. We'll close the tunnel doors as soon as you're outside. He's still chasing you. If you find him, you have to try and cut his head off. Now go! Tell the world what happened at this hotel. Uh, he's coming. Get out of here. We'll try to slow him down.
my god. Judy! Please, no! You will meet her soon. You want to challenge me with a sword? I want to gouge your eyes out. Come on then, you motherfucker! Take a shot of this stuff. It'll give you supernatural strength. I saw what you did to him. You aren't human anymore. After all we've been through to get away from this place, do you really want to kill me? You'll become like them. I have to kill you. I love you. 